Hey, welcome to another video. In this one, I'm carving a pine cone clock called Carnivorous Elapse. It's carved out of white pine wood and took me around 14 hours to complete it. I made this video a little different than my others. I incorporated the general carving sound into the video and I dropped down the music volume a bit. The only drawback is that there's some background noise in sections, but I'm hoping to avoid some of that in future videos. If you like the new video style, make sure you like and comment so I know what people mostly prefer. I also want to apologize for the lack in videos lately. I recently carved a cabin commission that I wasn't able to record, and life in general has been busy this summer. There's some exciting things coming soon though. I'm currently working on a new carving studio, so I hope to have that done by next spring. This clock is honestly a pretty straightforward carve. It's a simple design and there's only one general layer, so you have a pretty large margin for error. The first step to the carve was outlining each scale and giving them a general shape. Because of the simplicity of the carve, it allowed me to really carve deep, giving each scale some unique separation. The one area I needed to be cautious around though was the clock face. If I made any nicks or unwanted cuts on it, that would force me to carve in the entire face which would then force me to adjust the scales around it. This would add some unwanted time to the carve, so I really took my time. One mistake can sometimes turn into a domino effect in a carve, so it's best to avoid these situations if possible. I used my Dremel to help with undercutting the scales. It definitely sped the process up a little bit for me. With the scales along the edge of the carve, I just rounded them towards the back, which gives it a more natural look. The majority of this carving is very repetitive. Just keep shaping each scale until you're happy with how it all looks.
After I was happy with the scale's general shape, the final step was to clean up the gouge strokes and apply a final sanding to give it a smooth finish. The majority of this was done with a number two profile gouge. I used a small pointed bit and slowly cleaned up the undercut areas with the Dremel. The final touch was adding a gouge stroke border around the clock face. I wasn't initially planning on doing this, but I did unfortunately nick the edge of the clock face area with my Dremel, so I had to improvise and figure out a way to fix it. I actually really liked this way more than keeping it flat, so it worked out in my favor in the end. A sharp gouge was important here to carve clean strokes, especially cutting across the grain.
Thank you all for watching. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.